Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to explore the UiPath Orchestrator API and learn how to manage packages. If you are using the UiPath Studio and want to streamline your package management process, you are in the right place. Let's jump right in. Firstly, let's take a look at how to retrieve a list of packages using UiPath Studio. This is handy when you want to get an overview of all the packages available in our orchestrator instance. So before making any API call, we need the access token. So for that, I have created a separate video on how to get the how to make the authentication call and get the access token. If you haven't watched that video, I'll recommend you to go and first watch that video. I'll put the link in the description as well as in the i button. Now let's continue with our today's topic. So let's go to the packages ml here you can see I have used a build data table activity and I have created five columns column name is title version key publish date and the ID so few of the, these details I'll be going to use make a further uh, API calls so this these all the details will get from the first API call which is to retrieve the packages all right now we'll be using the HTTP acti activity to retrieve all the packages available in our UiPath orchestrator. Now let's hit on the configure button. So this is the endpoint that we are going to use. Base URL is the base URL of our orchestrator. And then we'll be using OData processes. So this will uh, give us the list of packages available in our orchestrator. And the request method will be get and accept response as this the type will be json then we'll be using one header called authorization where we will give the access token that we are getting from the authentication so this is necessary without it we can't make any api call so this is only headers that we are providing to this endpoint and we'll get the list of packages available so with this uh, all the configurations has been done for this particular activity let's click ok and this activity will be returning us the JSON response as well as the status code. So if the status code will be 200, that means the API call is success. Then we'll move further for the deserialization of the JSON object. From here, we'll be deserializing the JSON object. And then from that object, we'll be uh, using one token that is called value. Under that token, all the list of packages, uh, package details are available. So from that value token will be getting the title the package id the version the published uh, all the things will be going to get it at the end we'll be writing it to the excel file now if you have seen all the configurations are already done i'll be directly executing this code so you can see the output now let's debug it All right, so execution has been done. Now let's refresh it. Okay. All right, let me just see. Okay, so you can see this file has been created. Let me just open this file. Great. You can see these are the packages available in our orchestrator. It is returning. It is returning the latest packages. So for particular uh, specific pro package, you want to retrieve the all the versions. You for that there is a separate API call that we are going to see uh, next. But the latest packages available in our orchestrator, this uh, API call will return to us. So you can see the publish date the key of the package, the version, the name of the package and the ID of the package. So this is all the details that we can get it. Let me show you over here in our tenant as well. So there won't be any confusion. Okay, you can see we are uh, having totally two packages available in our orchestrator. And if I'll go to this, here we have two versions available. And here for this, we have only one version available. 
so this is how we can actually get the packages available in our orchestrator now moving on let's learn how to retrieve all the versions of a specific package this is useful when you want to have access to the historical versions of a package that i told you so for that let's comment this code first and we will uncomment this one here you can see this will retrieve uh, by using this api call we can retrieve all the versions of a specific package if i'll hit on the configure you can see along with the base url we are using this particular endpoint get process versions and then we'll be using the process id based on the process id we'll be getting the versions of a specific package if i'll open this file so you can see this is the id column this is the id of all the packages if i'll copy this id let me just copy it let's go here and instead of test i'll pass that one and this let me just so if you can see this is our full url and if i'll show you the base url as well so this is the base url of our orchestrator after that we'll be using the odata processes cipr server configuration odata get process versions so this will return us the package versions based on the process id that we are providing it so now let's move to the uipath studio here you can see we have given the endpoint then we will using the request method as json uh, get method and then accept response type as a json and again we'll be using only one header called the authorization where we'll be passing the access token so that's all the configuration we need to do for this activity and if the status code is 200 then we'll move further to get the detail uh, for the deserialization and get the token value token so because all the values are available all the uh, details are available under the value token only so we'll be uh, selecting the value token and based on that uh, from the value token all the children for all the children we are getting the details like the uh, uh, everything that were available in this particular activity like the title versions key and publish and id now let's debug this code as well so that you can see the result let me first close this files and else it will throw an error all right let's go here execute it Alright, so execution has been done. Let me open the file. Let's go here. So you can see as I have shown you, I have only one version available. So it has given me the details of one version only. If I'll delete this file, let me delete the sheet, save it, close it and i'll pass the i want to get the details about the test package so let me pass test over here let me run it again so this time you will see it will return the two rows for both the versions available in our orchestrator for the test package
execution is done let me refresh it and open the file great you can see we have the test package then number of versions available then the key of all the versions then the published date and the id as well so this will uh, this way we have all the versions of a specific package available is beneficial for the version control and ensuring capability with your automation project now let's talk about downloading a specific package specific version of package this can be crucial when you need to roll back to a previous version to have a specific dependency requirement all right let's go to the packages and comment this then go here and uncomment this now this uh, first of all we have to do the configuration using the http activity that will that will help us to download the specific version of a package let me click configure so for this we'll be using this particular endpoint so this is our endpoint you can see the base url the value will be this one and then we'll be using odata processes uipath server configuration download package and here we have to pass the key you have already seen we are retrieving the key of the versions available in our orchestrator for the packages so you can see this is the key column and you can see here as well so this is basically key for all the versions so if if i want to download this particular version i have to pass this key only in order to download this package let me go here again and click on configure so this is the url that we have to pass over here this is called the endpoint then again the request method will be get and the accept response will be json and header only we have to pass that is called authorization and the access token that we are already getting it from our authentication xaml so this is all the configuration we have to do for this particular activity now let's go to the properties of this activity so here it is returning as the status and then here it is returning as the json response again here if you will see file name for the response attachment so this will be the attachment actually that uh, this will be the package nugget package that will uh, that we will download actually by making this api call and the value i have uh, set it in the variable let's go. let me show you the variable as well so this is the variable value let uh, let's say test 1.0.2 all right these all values we can pass dynamically but i am just hard coding it as of now for the video purpose again once the status code will be 200 here we need not to do actually uh, uh, these things like deserialization and all we just have to see if the status code is 200 let me delete this and we'll do a log message only over here value we can say is done now let's make the api call and see that nugget package will be downloaded over here so let me refresh it you can see this is the package let me go to the directory I will zip it. Great. Let's go content. We can see this is downloaded. Successfully, we have downloaded the specific version of a package.
And there you have it. We have explored how to retrieve the package, fetch all versions of a specific package, download a specific using the UFR Studio and the Orchestrator AK. These capabilities can specifically enhance your package management workflow in the UFR Studio. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos and UFR content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy automating.